it's been an interesting start to day one. Stage one was cancelled. It's been very wet the last three stages. Mira and Evans was leading the rally on the stage two, but we've got a guy nipping rod to his heels who's now taken over the lead, Matthew Robinson. How are you finding it? Wet Derek, very yeah, tricky as well, foggy up on the tops. I've never I've never been through stages so twisty in my life. Back in the UK, in Wales, Kielder, we've got twisty stages and, you know, the man stages, but they, Christ, one slip and you'll be off. Yeah, so we've tried fairly hard this morning. We've got a little bit left, so we don't want to spoil ourselves, that's for sure. How are you finding the transition from the Fiat to the Escort? Uh, the Fiat was, uh, was a retro car uh, and they're developing it back in the UK, you know. Um, the problem was they had a few teething problems, you know, with breakdowns and one thing or another, and we couldn't come all this way again, really, you know, without giving it the best shot, we, you know, we could possible, really. So that's why I go back to the board. It's a hired one, it's off Rally Extreme, it's not what I'd normally drive. Um, it's a little bit different, it's got a five speed gearbox, power's a bit different, it's got different diff in it, but I'm getting hang of it, I think now. Now, as a driver, it's never easy making a transition to become a co-driver. I know for a fact, as I sat beside Regan Ross last year, and I'm not doing that again. In the Silver Fern Rally this year, we've got one guy that's made the transition from co-driver to driver. It'll be interesting to see how that works. All good, all good. Probably trying to get the combination right of making sure that you get your head in the right space, don't overdrive. Obviously, because I've done six before, I know the strategies. And um, I think just the cars are so much different nowadays technology to co-driving. You're trying to maintain the driver, now I've got to try and maintain myself. But, yeah. Built Brent, sat with him, driven his, and now I want to turn, so I've built my own and um, put that knowledge and experience to go forward. Put a lot of heart and soul into the last six to nine months, so wrapped that it's got to this point, because it was a couple of months ago, it was looking very close that it wasn't going to be. I'm under no illusion that uh, the fern is, is a difficult event, it's challenging. Um, I'd like to see that I can be in the top five at the end, but the main token is to try and keep it as straight as it is now, and um, get to the end. Wait, wait, wait. I'd say it's probably preparation, doing it too much and not enough time to do it. We had a little bit of issue with steering in the stage at, um, after the junction, going heavy. And then um, we went over this crest and the left hander and the bottom arm came out. Went into the flex books, drove off, backed up, drove off again, thought, nah, something's not right. So then we checked it up, the wheels around here, but the nut was still in the inside, so put it, managed to get it, put it back on. Got a flat tire. 